Hello and welcome to the channel again. It is time to showcase and review one of my favorite creations from Leonardo Officina Italiana, Momento Zero Blue Abyss. Well, probably one of the pen companies that can say that they are an overnight success is Leonardo Officina Italiana. But like every success story, it only took 45 years to become an overnight success. I think most of you know that the company is run by the father and son duo, Salvatore and Ciro. Ciro Matrone being the father who is one of the co-founders of the former Delta pen companies and a really, really talented pen maker. And Salvatore Matrone being the son who took their combined knowledge and passion for the writing instrument in what we know today as Leonardo Officina Italiana. We did review on this channel a few of their other models like the Momento Zero Resin and their second collection, the Furore, but we didn't showcase till this point any of their limited edition pens. So today it is time to do exactly that. Enough with the facts, let's get to unbox this pen. This is how you are presented with the pen. Now let's get to the box inside. And we have the actual box of the pen and voila we have a lot going on inside I'm going to start with the booklet and this contains information regarding the other collections from Leonardo and also some warranty informations then we have a certificate of authenticity and this proves the content of gold inside the nib, 14 karat, and on the back of it, you will find some celluloid shavings from the manufacturing process of your pen. Then inside the box, we have a Leonardo ink bottle, and the color of this ink is by random. So in this case, we have a brown ink. And last but not least, we have the pen, which I'm really excited to share with you. So. Let's bring the camera closer and go through the details. First, I'm going to start with the similarities and differences between the number version and the limited edition. Shape-wise, the pens are identical, same shape, same size. On the number version, we have as a pen material resin. On the limited edition, we have celluloid. On the limited edition, we have a piston filling mechanism. On the number version, we have a screw-in cartridge converter. Now let's talk nibs. On the limited edition we have 14 karat gold friction fitted nibs and ebonite feeds. On the number version we have friction fitted steel nibs and ABS feeds. Now let's concentrate on the pen that we are going to review and I'm going to start with the finials, both cap finial and and finial share the same conic shape then we have the clip which is very vintage and styling and using the small wheel it's easy to operate but keeps your pen securely clipped then we have two gold plated rings on the cap that are spaced very clever in order to not overwhelm the end of the cap and give this pen a very elegant air. Now let's take a moment to really appreciate this eye-catching celluloid. It's just beautiful. Leonardo calls it Blue Abyss, but I've seen the same celluloid or something 99% identical to this at Monte Grappa being named Butterfly Celluloid. It's composed of many layers of variation of this three colors dark blue light blue and gray it's a material that you can really appreciate at the most when you see it up in person to uncap the pen we are going to use one complete turn and if you are going to smell the inside of the cap you will find some information regarding the celluloid and this tells me that there is a faint smell of camphor. That means that the celluloid use is real Italian celluloid and it's cured very well. Here we have the beautiful and elegant 
14 karat gold nib. This is made by Buck for Leonardo. It's laser engraved with the Leonardo logo and the name of the company. And this is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a 1.3 millimeter stub. Underneath the nib, you will find the ebonite feed. And this is very, very beautiful. And it has this streamlined design and it will offer your pen a very continuous and rich ink flow. And this is a trademark of the Leonardo nibs to have a really rich ink flow. Section of the pen has this bell like shape and it starts thin near the nib and flares out halfway. This is really, really ergonomic and comfortable to use. The threads of the cap are not that sharp, so if you grip your pen slightly higher, there is no problem. Moving forward, we have a step up right here. And again, another way for Leonardo to accentuate this and give this pen a more elegant air, not leaving a sharp edge. And we have a gold plated ring that makes the transition from the section to the barrel a bit smoother. The barrel of the pen decreases in the girth from here towards the piston knob. On the barrel you will find engraved Leonardo Officina Italiana number 61 out of 100 and this is the serial number of the pen. This is a limited edition pen of 100 pieces. And we have another gold plated ring that separates the barrel from the piston knob. This pen uses a vintage piston filling mechanism and this is how the company calls it. And it's very easy to operate this piston filling mechanism just by unscrewing the piston knob like this. And this moves the piston filling mechanism down. Once you hit this level, you are going to submerge the pen in ink till here, slightly above the lip of the section, and you are going to start to rotate clockwise to draw ink inside. Now let's have some measurements of this pen. And we are going to start with the measurement closed like this. And fully inked and closed, we have 140 millimeters in length and a weight of 26.5 grams. If we are going to uncap the pen, we have 128 millimeters in length and 18 grams. Now let's have a writing sample with this broad nib and we will put everything in perspective after that. Then Leonardo Momento Zero. And the version blue of this. Then we have the nib, which is 14 carat gold broad. Then we have the ink. Leonardo Passion Red. And we are on Tomoy River 68 GSM. Now let's do a wetness test and I was telling you about the wetness of the Leonardo nib and it's time to prove that. As you can see we have a very very rich and consistent ink flow. Another trade of the Leonardo nib is their stiffness. So now it's time to do a flex test and 
I advise you not to push these nibs because they can be easy springed. And we have a bit of line variation, not that much. Now let's try a reverse to see how this nib is performing. A bit scratchy, but it's wet. It can take this nib from a broad down to a fat medium. And something very particular about this broad nib is the stop grind like, and this is very, very easy observed if we are going to do this horizontal and vertical lines. As you can see, we have a slightly stop like grind. The nib is performing very well. Now let's try something like fast writing. And as you can see, the nib is performing very, very well. Taking consideration the fact that it is very, very prone to have hard starts and skipping on a broad nib, much more than on a medium, fine, or extra fine. So this broad nib is proving that it is adjusted flawless. Okay, now let's put everything in perspective. There are not that many pens around that offer so much and they are so reasonable priced like the Leonardo limited editions. They are made in exotic materials like celluloid and ebonite. They have great writing gold nibs, ebonite feeds for a rich and consistent ink flow, piston filling mechanism, and let's not forget everything being handmade on a lathe by the skillful hands of an Italian pen maker with more than 45 years of experience and love for the writing instrument. This is it. I hope you enjoy spending this time with me reviewing the Momento Zero Blue Abyss fountain pen. If you're interested in owning such a pen, you may consider to hurry because we only have one piece left in our stock and we can't order more. You will find the link for it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and if you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Also below you will find links for our website, our Instagram account and Facebook page. If you drop by, don't forget to follow and like our page. Also, if you are there and you want to chat or just say hi, you can send me a message and I'll be more than happy to chat with you. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video.